All right, so let's talk about the ECS, the environmental control system. This works in tandem with the inflow valve and the outflow valve, which is controlled by the pressure controller <coughs> to, <coughs> to control the pressure in the cabin. Essentially, the inflow valve is the cork in the bottle. When the, when the inflow is pushed in open, bleed air from the compressor is allowed to come into the cabin. And as you can see, it's warm. We have it set up to a good temperature there. Because <coughs> the air temperature out here is minus 31. Ooh, yeah. Now then, if we had a problem with a cabin and needed to increase the volume of air, we could do so with the ECS. This controls the volume of bleed air. Number coming in. Sierra Tango, contact Albuquerque Center, 127.85. Uh, 2785, so long, 618 Sierra Tango. And Albuquerque, good morning, it's Meridian 618 Sierra Tango, 280 smooth. Meridian 618 Sierra Tango, pretty much. All right, so uh, this bleed air then can go to high, for example, and you'll hear a loud, not too loud, but you'll hear a rushing sound. This this increases the volume of air coming into the cabin. And so if the passengers in the back are cold, set the environmental system to the 3 o'clock position and put the bleed air in the high position. Okay. And that'll help push more warm air through the cabin. If you're getting frost on the windshield, as we are today, uh, and you want to eliminate that, pull out the defrost. This diverts some of the air from the lower plenum down here by our feet. 24, I don't have anybody right now in front of you to ask. Now. To these uh, orifices here, 20 which 20. helps to clear that ice off of there. The other thing you could do is turn the uh, defog on here. And you'll see there's a heated element in there that covers all of that. Okay. And that'll take Tactics that off there here in a minute. We'll come back to that. And if the cabin still isn't pressurizing normally, you, you might, if, you if there's a, a major leak right but not a, a serious problem, you, uh, you, you might be able to get away with bringing this to Emer. But if you do, you get even more volume of air and you get the red emergency bleed light. But that's a valid way to help push the cabin up. Uh, oh, to pump okay. it up, you know. So now go ahead and put that back to the high position. Notice, notice the light goes out and the volume of air uh, decreases. Uh, we still have a rush, though. Yeah. All right, so I go ahead and put it back to normal. 